Hey everyone, today I've got a Canada haul for you which I am so excited to film. I've been excited to film this ever since I found out I was going to Canada, let alone like when I bought all this stuff. Basically went shopping, bought all the stuff, I've kept it in the bags, I haven't touched anything, I haven't looked at anything, I haven't taken anything out of the packaging, I haven't tried anything. So it's kind of like exciting for both me and you because I haven't seen this stuff, kind of technically, you haven't seen this stuff, it's gonna be fun. Great. I was going to show you the Sephora stuff in this video but then it got too long so I filmed a separate Sephora haul which I'll link down below and I'll link as an iCard so you can go and watch that video, see all the stuff that I got from Sephora and then you can just like watch this video to see everything else I got whilst I was away in Canada. I have a few sort of non Sephora but still beauty makeup -y items in this bag. I got the Elle magazine I think it was or something like that, one of them like magazines that aren't actually that interesting it's always I only buy it for the free gift um but I went into WH Smith in the airport and I got that magazine whatever it was and they had a free benefit ready set brow sort of brow product thing from their new range so um so yeah this like magazine was like three pounds or something and this is worth like ten pounds or something and this is actually the cutest little thing I have ever seen in my life it smells what does it smell like that's a really strong smell nail varnish remover yummy but yeah, this is just like a clear sort of brow gel thing, which is really good because I don't have one and I've been needing one for a while. And it's like a flat shaped brush, which is quite odd. Um, I don't really know what else to say about this because I didn't buy it technically and I haven't tried it. So basically this is Benefits Clear Brow Gel and that is all I have to say. The next thing I got was the lip balm and this is a Lucky Charms lip balm. I got this from some random sort of... Um, like sweet shop somewhere they had like loads of different lip balms but they didn't actually show the prices so I've literally got no idea how much this is it could have been like three to six dollars or something like that it could be really overpriced because it's branded but it's apparently marshmallow flavor scented but it's basically gonna probably smell just like an overdose of sugar oh my days that is quite it smells like a Yankee candle shop like an overdose of sugar and bakery and stuff like that if you were to go to disney and you were going to like one of the sweet shops in disney with all them like mickey shaped lollipops that is what this smells like i wonder if you were to eat this oh my god that just tastes like a bag of sugar i then went to shoppers drug mart which is sort of like i don't know it had some high-end makeup it had some drugstore makeup and stuff and i saw an essie nail varnish there and this isn't a me color this is like a lilac -y color we all know I don't wear colour. Black, white or grey. That's about it. Sometimes I'll go for a light pink on my nails if I'm feeling adventurous, but that's it. But this is like a lilac -y sort of pastel colour. Um, these were like on sale or on offer. They are originally like $7.99 I think and I got this for $3.99. That is a complete guess. Roughly that's what I got it for I think. This is in the shade Go Ginza. Go Ginza. I don't know. 310. Just do it by that. Um, but it's, yeah, it's like a purple colour. I thought I'd get something different rather than like a typical standard Georgie colour. Um, because. And then the last makeup piece of item thing that I got was also from Shoppers Drug Mart. And it's a CoverGirl mascara because all my mascaras are starting to run out. So I thought I would get one in Canada because you can't get CoverGirl here in the UK. So I thought I would just try it. This is the, I literally struggle to say this so much. It's the Lash Blast Volume Mascara. Um, I think this is meant to be good. I think I've heard stuff about this on YouTube. And I really like how they um, don't have it in the actual tube when you buy it. I quite like that. And I think this was $5.99, so it's really, really cheap. I'll go into Bath and Woodworks in a minute, but I just wanted to say I've got loads of food items here that I bought in Canada. I bought crisps, chocolate, sweets, all things like that. And I'm going to be doing a trying Canadian candy video, sort of snacks thing with Beth tomorrow. Um, I think that video will be up... I don't know, it might be up before this or it might be up afterwards, but whenever it's up, I will leave it as a link down below. I'm going to go into clothing and like all the other random things next, and then I will end with Bath and Body Works. Um, when I was in the airport, I got these. I went into Zara and I saw these school shoes. Well, they're not like literal school shoes, but I'm going to like use them as school shoes. My other ones were from Zara as well, and they haven't like broken yet or anything, but um, I've had them for quite a while, so I'm going to wear them until like they've started to break or something, and then I'll use these ones because I thought I might as well get them because when I need something, I can never find it. So I thought when I found it, I might as well get it. Um, they're just like pointed, no, they're not pointed toes. They're like rounded toes, which is quite weird because my actual ones at the moment are pointed. They're like that kind of thing. So it's quite different for me, but I like them. They're like shiny like my old ones were. And then they've got like a little bit of like suede type material on the heel. 
these were um, 19.99, but because they were like Heathrow, like airport prices, um, it was 16.66. I also got this in the airport. This is a Jack Wills hoodie. They had a sale on when I'm. I went in there and I saw this one. This is actually from the men's section, but I got it in an extra small, so it just about fits me. It's like slightly too large, but it's like it's all right. Um, as you can see, it's like a navy blue colour. I just roll up the sleeves. It's so so soft, and it just says I can't even read it. Jack Wills, fabulously British, um, and it's just a really comfy jumper. I absolutely love this. This was reduced quite a lot. I don't actually know the prices of it because I've like the tags not on it because I've worn it. Um, but I think it was like originally 60 or 70 pounds and then they like um, reduced it to like 40 and then they reduced it to 30 or something and then they also had like the airport price deduction reduction thing so I think this jumper was like 32 pounds 80 or something like that like I think that's what I paid for it but yeah it's such a comfy jumper and I love it so much. Before I forget I also got henna done when I was in Canada but it started to like sort of fade off now so you probably can't see it on camera but I got this done on one of the last days and I think this is like $42 um but I got like my arm from here down to the ends of my fingers um but then I got this this is like a little friendship bracelet type thing I saw it in a little shop um randomly somewhere but I thought it was really cute it's just like a blue and white colour I also got one for Beth which was grey black and white but I think this was like a few dollars or something it wasn't that expensive I got one of these like Starbucks tumbler cup things. I just went into a Starbucks to get a drink and I saw this and I really liked it. This is like a huge size, like it's bigger than my face. This was $14.95. It comes with like a plastic straw and everything. I really, really like this um, just because it's so big and it's also perfect for Billy. Whenever I have a drink, I put it on the floor. He'll either knock it over, break the glass or start drinking out of my drink. So this is perfect because it's plastic and it's got a lid on it so Billy can't drink out of it. Um, but yeah, I really like this and it's got like that plastic thing on the lid like so it doesn't leak. Well, it could leak out the straw but it like can't leak out from the sides which I really like. The only problem with this is that um, it started to like rub off like some of the writing on the back. I don't know whether that's because of like sun cream or something but when I was like laying by the pool um, some of the stuff started to rub off but it's all right in the front um yeah i don't know i've wanted one of these for ages so i thought i'd get one then i went to a place called winners it's basically a tk max but like canadian and i saw this this is an 18 month planner when i originally saw it i was like oh that's really pretty but there's no point buying it because we're like halfway through the year and then i realized that we're 2016 not 2017 i have some dumb moments at times so i was then like oh that means i can get it because i can actually use it and it's actually 18 months like i said so it goes from july 2016 to december 2017 and i've been wanting like a youtube notebook to sort of plan out videos and to write video ideas in um and i saw this and i was like i didn't really want like a diary like it comes with the sort of week on one side and then a notes side a weekly to do's and then the next three months in sort of like small calendar I don't know how to explain it I didn't really need like the sort of diary part because I already have a diary I basically just wanted a really pretty notebook but I really like the marble on this and the rose gold so I thought I could like use this to plan videos in on like the calendar part and then on the notes section I could write videos and stuff I'll probably end up getting just like a genuine plain notebook for video ideas but I'll definitely use this this was $9.99 and I don't know it's very very pretty and then I also got a mug in Winners. Um, this is absolutely huge. Um, it's all like wrapped up for travelling. But I got this Disney princess mug. This is like a pink princess mug. It's got Ariel Belle. No, that's not Belle. Sleeping Beauty. Her name begins with an A, but I can't say it, so I'm not even going to bother. Um, Cinderella, Belle, Snow White and... Oh my days, what is her name? Jasmine. This was also $9.99 and this is huge. You could make the world's biggest hot chocolate. Well, it's not going to be the world's biggest, is it? But you can make a big hot chocolate in this. Or you can like eat cereal out of it. I'll probably do both. But I've always wanted like a really nice sort of mug that's my mug. Because I've got like a mug with a mug shot of me on it and stuff. But I wanted like a really cute sort of pretty mug that I can drink drinks of and stuff. So I saw this and I was like, hmm, that is very cute. So I got it place I went to was Bath and Body Works. The first things I got were hand sanitizers because I really like Bath and Body Works hand sanitizers because they've got like so many different scents and stuff. 
I already have the Tea Bath and Wee Works ones, a Soap and Glory one, and a Strawberry Laces one, so I really didn't need any more hand sanitizers. But I got three because they were um, three for five dollars, I think. So I got Sparkling Lemon Cello, Copacabana Coconut, and BFF, which has a picture of um, cookies and milk. So it sort of smells like cookies and milk, obviously. The second time I went into Bath and Body Works, they had these, and these are the antibacterial hand sprays, which are quite new. I saw these in someone's USA haul recently, and like as soon as I saw it, I was like, right, I need one of them. In the first Bath and Body Works I went to, it was pretty crap. They didn't have very good scents of like candles. They didn't have much choice. But the second one I went to had these, which I was really happy about. And this is in the scent Fresh Market Apple. Um, it smells like apples, I think. Okay, it doesn't smell very nice when you like smell it all together. It smells like really strong and like mouldy apples, but <gasps> all this smell and like pure alcohol has gone up my nose and it's kind of gross. But this smells like the um, so white scent from Lush that they have at Christmas time. This is what this smells like. Um, I think this was three dollars. Okay, the last two things I got are some candles, and ever since I started watching YouTube videos about four years ago, I have always wanted a Bath and Body Works candle because I used to see them in all the American sort of like videos and morning routines and stuff and I've always always wanted one so when I was able to get them I sort of got very very excited they came in this like sort of Starbucks McDonald's sort of drinks holder type thing but for candles um, and they had their like semi annual sale on whilst I was there um, these candles are the three wick candles and they are $25 each but when I was there they had them for two for 25 so they're basically buy one get one free. The first one I got is from this sort of white barn range thing I don't really know what that means but this is pomegranate lemonade and it smells so good like it's really fresh scented it smells like pomegranate lemonade obviously like that is the only way i can describe it it's very citrusy i don't know it's nice and fresh i think it would be quite nice burn it's quite strong um when i had this just sitting in my room in canada every time i walked in you could smell this and it smelled like pick and mix sweets so if you just like left the lid off in your room like it would fill the room with smell without even burning it which i really like and then the next one I got was the whole reason why I wanted to like get the candle, like do the candle off the thing. Because I have always wanted a Bath and Body Works candle, like I said. Um, but I've always used to see like the full scents, like the fully awesome scents in people's videos. Because that's like when people obviously tend to have candles. And the second time I went into Bath and Body Works, they had all the autumn scents in there, which I was so happy about. They smell all the typical ones that everyone has, like flannel and autumn and leaves. And they all say that they smell like really good and they're the best scents and stuff. But to me, it was grim. And a lot of the sort of foodie scents were quite sickly and quite sweet. But this one, I actually love. This is cinnamon sugar donut. And it smells like a cinnamon sugar donut, basically. I love the packaging of this, like the rose goldy coppery lid and like the picture on the front and the colouring. It just works so well with my room. And this basically smells like freshly cooked like donuts that you get when you go on like the pier in Brighton or when you go to like a fair. So that is it for my can as a haul. I'm sorry if this was a really long rambly video but I'm just like so excited for everything that I've got. I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Um, subscribe me, subscribe to me down below. I, I will see you next week or whenever I next upload a video. Um, bye!